In this video, I will be showing you exactly how I create my highlights. First of all, there's a lot of ways you could add highlights and lighting to an image. In this video, I'll show you the method I use. This is my first example image. The children are in the middle of a bombing. Behind them and in front of them is fire. These children have to be lit by the light source, which is that fire. This is where the highlights come in. Step 1. Adjustment layers. For those not familiar with adjustment layers, an adjustment layer is an effect or filter that's located inside one layer. Every layer below this adjustment layer will be affected by its effects. I'll show you with an example. This is a PSD file with four layers. If I add an adjustment layer, for instance brightness and contrast, and I put it all the way at the top, it will affect every layer below that. As you see, when I bring up the values, the whole image gets brighter. But when I move this adjustment layer down and put it between these two layers, it doesn't affect the whole image anymore, only the layers below it. You can also attach an adjustment layer to another layer so that it only affects that. You can do this by putting it in a clipping mask. This can be done by clicking this button in the adjustment layers option panel. You can also hold the alt or option key and click between the two layers. Back to my artwork, I add the adjustment layer hue and saturation and put it in a clipping mask with the subject layer because I only want it to affect that layer. Hue and saturation works great for highlights because it allows you to change the luminosity, vibrance and hue separately. Step 2. Finding the right color. To find the exact right color, you need to look very carefully to the rest of your image. In my case, the light is coming from the fire in front of them and behind them. I will make one adjustment layer for each source. I decided to start with the front fire. First of all, hit the little checkbox, Colorize. This allows you to control every slider straightforward. Now, since what we're doing is light, turn up the lightness a bit. You will now see the entire layer changing. This will be fixed later. You should now try to match this color with the color of your chosen light source, in my case the fire. As you can see, the light of the fire is a bit orange, so I need to match this color by changing these values. The upper slider controls the color itself, the middle slider controls the vibrance, which is the color's intensity, and the final slider controls the lightness. Now this is important. The highlights on a subject, object or surface should never be brighter than the brightest spot on the light source. When you're satisfied with your color, you can hide the layer mask by selecting the mask and hitting Ctrl or Command I. Step 3. Painting the highlights. First, you have to determine where the light is coming from exactly. In my case, it's the bottom right corner. This means every part of the children that's on the bottom right corner should be lit. First, you take a regular soft brush and adjust the size to your liking. Now, with the white color selected and the adjustment layer's mask, you can paint over the children's layer. You can erase your paint by hitting X. This inverts the paint color to black, which hides. You can change the hardness of your brush by right-clicking and changing the values. You can now start adding highlights on certain areas. How precise you are is all up to you. I tend to be a little too precise sometimes, but you can make it as detailed as you like. I've got another example for you. Here, the light comes from the sky, and since the sky doesn't really have a color in this image, I will use exposure this time. It's the same idea here. First, I bring up the slider values. The light comes from the top right of the image, so I have to add the highlights to the top and the right of the subject. Let's do a quick recap. Step 1. Create an adjustment layer. For instance, hue and saturation or exposure, and put it in a clipping mask with the subject. Step 2. Adjust the colors. Make sure it matches the light source's color and see that it doesn't get any brighter than the source. Step 3. Painting. Paint with a brush on the layer mask of the adjustment layer to make your highlights. Use X to switch between show and hide and right click to see your brush's options. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope this video was useful to you and I hope you've learned something new today. Thanks for watching! If you like this content, feel free to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to make sure you don't miss anything. I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.